Sometimes it's a grammar mistake. Sometimes it's a wrong word. So try to identify the type of mistake in order to, to be able to correct these mistakes. First, of course, there is a mistake which is uh, obvious, which is true that many students write which uh, uh, without uh, uh, adding uh, H to the initial word W. But this is a very common uh, mistake that you are supposed to avoid in the future. Look at the second mistake. Can we use unlike in the middle? Good. This word should be substituted by the word while or whereas. It ends in 14. What type of mistake is it? Yes, there is a wrong preposition. What is the correct preposition? At, yes? Now what word should be used instead of whereas? Of course, the right word here is unlike. Look at the verb takes. Can the verb takes take s in the end? Of course not. What is the, the right form? Take, of course, because the subject is uh, plural. Now, look at the corrections. Look at the whole article now. Let's uh, read it together. The Tunisian and the Italian educational systems are similar in some ways. In both Tunisia and Italy, children start education at the age of six. Besides, education is compulsory for children in both countries. And in Tunisia, as well as in Italy, there is a three-stage system. Also, to go to university, both Tunisian and Italian students have to pass an exam in the end of the final year of the secondary stage. Yet, there are differences between the two systems. As you can notice, we should start a new paragraph. Yet, there are differences between the two systems. Unlike Tunisia, which has a 6, a 3, 4 plan. Italy has a 5, a 3, 5 plan. Another difference is that compulsory education in Tunisia ends at the age of 16, whereas in Italy it ends at 14. Finally, in Tunisia, assessment at the end of the primary and preparatory stages is done through tests. However, in Italy, students take oral and written exams at the end of the elementary and intermediate stages. We've come to the end of our lesson today. Thank you very much. Good luck and goodbye.